Hey everyone, welcome to the AWS Partner Showcase. This is season one, episode three, with a focus on women in tech. I'm your host, Lisa Martin. I've got two guests here with me, Sue Paraschetti, the EVP of Global AWS Strategic Alliances, at Jefferson Frank, a 10th Revolution Group company, and Danielle Greshoff, one of our CUBE alumni, joins us, ISV PSA Director. Ladies, it's great to have you on the program talking about a, a, a topic that is near and dear to my heart, women in tech. Thank you, Lisa. So let's go ahead and start with you. Give the audience an understanding of Jefferson Frank. What does the company do and about the partnership with AWS? Sure. Um, so let's just start. Uh, Jefferson Frank is a 10th revolution group company. And if you look at it, it, it's really talent as a service. So Jefferson Frank provides talent solutions all over the world for AWS clients, partners, end users, et cetera. And we have a sister company called Revelant, which is a talent creation company within the AWS ecosystem. So we create talent and put it out in the ecosystem. Usually underrepresented groups, over half of them are women. And then we also have uh, a company called Rubira, which is a delivery model around AWS technology. So all three companies fall under the 10th Revolution Group organization. Got it. Danielle, talk to me a little bit about, from AWS's perspective and the focus on hiring more women in technology and about the partnership. Yes, I mean, this has definitely been a focus ever since I joined eight years ago, but also just especially in the last few years, as we've grown exponentially and our customer base has changed. You know, we want to have a, an organization interacting with them that reflects our customers, right? And uh, we know that we need to keep pace with that, even with our growth. And so we've very much focused on early career talent, uh, bringing more women and underrepresented and minorities into the organization, sponsoring those folks, promoting them, uh, giving them paths to growth to grow inside of the organization. I'm an example of that, of course. I've benefit fr benefited from it, but also I try to bring that into my organization as well, and it's super important. Tell me a little bit about how you be benefited from that, Danielle. Um, I just think that, um, you know, I, I've been able to get, you know, a seat at the table. I think that um, I feel as though I have folks supporting me uh, very deeply and want to see me succeed. And also they put me forth as, um, you know, a, represent, a representative uh, to bring more women into the organization as well. And I think um, they give me a platform uh, in order to do that. Um, like this, um, but also many other uh, spots as well. Um, and I'm happy to do it because I feel that, you know, it, it, you always want to feel that you're making a difference in your job. And that is definitely a place where I get that time and space in order to be that representative to um, bring more, more women into benefiting from having careers in technology, which there's a lot of value there. A lot of value, absolutely. Sue, so back over to you. What are some of the trends that you are seeing from a gender and diversity perspective in tech? We know the, the numbers of women in technical positions. Uh, there's right. so much data out there that shows when girls start dropping out. But what are some of the trends that you're seeing? So it's, that's a really interesting question. And, and Lisa, I had a whole bunch of data points that I wanted to share with you. But just two weeks ago, uh, I was in San Francisco with AWS at the, at the summit, and we were talking about this. We were talking about how we can collectively together attract more women, not only to uh, AWS, not only to technology, but to the AWS ecosystem in particular. And it was fascinating because I was talking about uh, the challenges that women have and how hard to believe but about 5% of women who were in the ecosystem have left in the past few years, which was really, really uh, something that shocked everyone when we, when we were talking about it, because all of the things that we've been asking for, for instance, uh, working from home, um, better pay, uh, more flexibility, uh, better maternity leave, it seems like those things are happening. So we're getting what we want but people are leaving. And it seemed like the feedback that we got 
was that a lot of women still felt very underrepresented. The number one thing was that they, they couldn't be, you can't be what you can't see. So because they, we feel collectively women, uh, people who identify as women just don't see enough women in leadership. They don't see enough mentors. Um, I think I've had great mentors, but, but just, not enough. I'm lucky enough to have a, pres a president of our company. The president of our company, Zoe Morris, is a woman and she does lead by example. So I'm very lucky for that. And Jefferson Frank, really quickly, we put out a hiring, a salary and hiring guide, a career and hiring guide every year. And the data points in that is about 65 pages long. No one else does it. Uh, it gives an abundance of information around uh, everything about the AWS ecosystem that a hiring manager might need to know. But there is what, what I thought was really unbelievable was that only 7% of the people that responded to it were women. So my goal, uh, being that we have such a very big global platform, is to get more women to respond to that survey. So we can get as much information and take action. So. Absolutely. Only 7%. So a long way to go there. Danielle, talk to me about AWS's focus on women in tech. I was watching, um, Sue, I saw that you shared on LinkedIn, the TED talk that the CEO and founder of Girls and Code did. And one of the things that she said was that there was a, a survey that HP did some years back that showed that 60% um, that, that men will apply for jobs if they only meet 60% of the list of requirements Whereas with females, it's far, far less. We've all been in that imposter syndrome um, conundrum before, but Danielle, talk to us about AWS's specific focus here to get these numbers up. Well, I think it speaks to what Susan was talking about, how, you know, I think we're t approaching it top and bottom, right? We're looking out at what are the, who are the women who are currently in technical positions and how can we make AWS an attractive place for them to work? And that's all a lot of the changes that we've had around maternity leave and, and those types of things, but then also a more flexible working, uh, can, you know, uh, arrangements, but then also um, early, how can we actually impact early um, career women and actually women who are still in school? Um, and our training and certification team is doing amazing things to get uh, more girls exposed to AWS, to technology, um, and make it a less intimidating place and have them look at employees from AWS and say like, oh, I can see myself in those people um, and kind of actually grow the viable pool of candidates. I think, you know, we're, we're limited with the viable pool of candidates um, when you're talking about mid to late career. Um, but how can we, you know, help retrain women who are coming back into the workplace after, you know, having a child? And how can we help with military women who want to, uh, or underrepresented minorities who want to move into AWS? We have a great military program, but then also just that early high school uh, career, you know, getting them in, in that trajectory. Sue, so is that something that Jefferson Frank is also able to help with is, you know, getting those younger girls before they start to feel there's something wrong right. with me. I don't get this. Talk to us right. about how Jefferson Frank can help really drive up that in those younger girls. Uh, let me tell you one other thing to refer back to that summit that we did. Uh, we had breakout sessions and that was one of the topics. What, cause that's the goal, right? To make sure that, that there are ways to attract them. That's the goal. So some of the things that we talked about was mentoring programs uh, from a very young age. Some people said high school, but then we said even earlier, goes back to you can't be what you can't see. So uh, getting mentoring programs uh, established. Uh, we also talked about some of the great ideas was being careful of how we speak to women using the right language to attract them. And so there was a teachable moment for, for me there, actually. It, it was really wonderful because um, an African-American woman said to me, Sue, and I, I was talking about how you can't be what you can't see. And what she said was, Sue, it's really different um, for me 
as an African-American woman, uh, or she identified uh, as non-binary, but she was relating to African-American women. She said, you're a white woman. Your journey was very different than my journey. And I thought, this is how we're going to learn. I wasn't offended by her calling me out at all. It was a teachable moment. I, and I thought I understood that. But those are the things that we need to educate people on, the, those moments where we think we're, we're saying and doing the right thing, but we really need to get that bias out there. So here at Jefferson Frank, we're, we're trying really hard to get that careers and hiring guide out there. It's on our website to get more women uh, to talk to it, but to make suggestions in partnership with AWS around how we can do this. Mentoring, we have a Mentor Me program. We go around the country and do things like this. We, we try to get the education out there in partnership with AWS. Uh, we have a, a women's group, a women's leadership group. Uh, so much that, that we do, and we try to do it in partnership with AWS. Danielle, can you comment on the impact that AWS has made so far um, regarding some of the trends and gender diversity that Sue was talking about. What's the impact that's been made so far with this partnership? Well, I mean, I think just being able to get more of the data and have awareness of leaders uh, on how, you know, it used to be a, a couple years back, I would feel like sometimes the um, uh, solving to bring more women into the organization was kind of something that folks thought, oh, this is Danielle is going to solve this, you know, and I think a lot of folks now realize, oh, this is something that we all need to solve for. And a lot of my colleagues who maybe a couple of years ago didn't have any awareness or didn't even have the tools to do what they needed to do in order to improve the statistics on their or in their organizations now actually have those tools and are able to kind of work with um, work with companies like Susan's work with Jefferson Frank in order to actually get the data and actually make good decisions and feel as though you know they they often these are not lived experiences for these folks so they don't know what they don't know and by providing data and providing awareness and providing tooling and then setting goals i think all of those things have really turned uh things around in a very positive way and so you bring up a great point about from a diversity perspective what is jefferson frank doing to to get those data points up to get more women of of all well really underrepresented minorities to to be able to provide that feedback so that you can, can have the data and glean the insights from it to help companies like AWS on their strategic objectives. Right, so as I, when I go back to that, hire, that uh, careers and hiring guide, that is my focus today really, because the more data that we have, I mean, the, and the data takes, uh, you know, we need people to participate in order to, to accurately uh, get a hold of that data. So that's why we're asking, uh, we're taking the initiative to really expand our focus. We are a global organization with a very, very massive database all over the world. But if people don't take action, then we can't get the right, the, the, the data will not be as accurate as we'd like it to be, therefore take better action. So what we're doing is we're asking people all over the, all over the world to participate on our website, jeffersonfrank.com, the, the high, uh, in the survey, so we can learn as much as we can. 7% is such a, you know, uh, Danielle and I, uh, we're, we've got to partner on this just to sort of get that message out there, get more data so we can execute. Uh, some of the other things that we're doing, we're, we're partnering, in, as I mentioned, more of these events uh, where we're doing around the summits, we're going to be having more EDI events and collecting more information from women. Um, like I said, internally, we do practice what we preach and we have our own programs that are that are out there that are within our own company where the women who are talking to candidates and clients every single day are trying to get that message out there. So if I'm speaking to a client or one of our internal people are speaking to a client or a candidate, they're telling them, listen, you know, we really are trying to get these numbers up. We wanna attract as many people as we can. Would you mind going to this uh, hiring guide and offering your own information? So we've gotta get that 7% up. 
We've got to keep talking. We've got to keep uh, getting programs out there. One other thing I wanted to Danielle's point, she mentioned uh, women in leadership. The number that we gathered was only 9% of women in leadership within the AWS ecosystem. We've got to get that number up uh, as well because, um, you know, I know for me, when I see people like Danielle or, or her peers, it inspires me and I feel like, you know, I just want to give back, make sure I send the elevator back to the first floor and bring more women in to this amazing ecosystem. Absolutely. I, that we need metaphor. It. I do too. But we, but to your point, to get that, those numbers up, not just at AWS, but everywhere else we need, it's a help me help you situation. So exactly. ladies, underrepresented minorities, if you're watching, go to the Jefferson Frank website, take the survey, help provide the data so that the women here that are doing this amazing work have it to help make decisions and have more of females in leadership roles or underrepresented minorities so we can be what we can see. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me today and sharing what you guys are doing together to partner on this important cause. Thank you for having me, Lisa. My pleasure. For my guests, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE's coverage of the AWS Partner Showcase. Thanks for your time.